It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, November 24th. Happy Thanksgiving. We'll see a high close to 70 today, maybe low 70s in spots. Very pleasant. Got the Iron Bowl weekend coming up. Got Black Friday tomorrow and potential for a fairly high impact thunderstorm event early next week, something we haven't seen in a long time. So as always, a lot of things going on here and let's dive in. Thanksgiving holiday will not stop us in the weather business. Here's a water vapor satellite view. The little wave that brought that light rain last night, that's on to the east. And that certainly didn't help anything concerning the drought. Temperatures this morning are mostly in the 50s. Low 70s, good possibility today. That is above average for Thanksgiving Day around the nation. Fairly seasonal, I'd say. Coldest air in the west and up in the northeast. Nothing brutally cold. We note a few counties in extreme west Alabama and southeast Alabama with a dense fog advisory early this morning. That fog will be burning off fairly soon. Convective outlook, we are still looking at a severe weather risk now on day five. Day five is Monday of next week over parts of Texas and Louisiana. And again, we wonder if that will ultimately be expanded in here on Tuesday of next week. Uh, pretty hard to draw these maps so far in advance, but no doubt uh, a very robust system is on the way. And hey, look at the rain for the next seven days. Haven't seen colors like this in a while. Rain amounts between one and two inches for much of the state, and that's with our system coming in here Tuesday and Tuesday night of next week. And obviously, we'll be focusing on that. Hurricane Otto, uh, we're kind of winding down the hurricane season. It ends in a week. Uh, this thing is packing sustained winds of 105 miles an hour. This went through rapid intensification last night. It'll be coming on into the coasts of Nicaragua and Costa Rica today and then right out into the Pacific. And when that happens, it gets a new name over in the eastern Pacific, and then it dissipates a little north of uh, 10 North. So let's go in here and check it out, model fans. Here's the GFS. This is the 06E run at noon today. A little short wave up in the northern plains, a zonal flow here. We're expecting clouds this morning, giving way to a partly sunny afternoon. And again, low 70s are likely. Black Friday tomorrow. Should be uh, partly to mostly sunny. Let's say upper 60s. We note that 1032 high to the west with a northerly flow. But boy, the weekend looks great. That high kind of drifts in here. Saturday will be a beautiful day. Sunny and cooler with low 60s. Just what you'd like to see in late November. A perfect day for the Iron Bowl. Low 60s at kickoff, 50s by the fourth quarter. A game is at 2.30 Saturday in Tuscaloosa. Sunday morning will be close to the freezing mark. The high Sunday will be in the 60s. The sky will be sunny. Now we go to Monday. One low is over the far northern part of Minnesota with a trailing front. And the good thing about Monday, while it doesn't look like we'll see any rain, the Gulf of Mexico is open, a southerly flow. We get the dew points up. Uh, the, these waves we have seen since last week have come through with very low dew points and no moisture. But that will kind of prime the pump. And this is Tuesday. You can see a very, very uh, dynamic system to the west. Deep upper trough, excellent support. And we have uh, dual lows, one over Oklahoma, one over Missouri, both of those sub-1,000 millibars with uh, thunderstorms just west of the state and, again, a wide-open Gulf of Mexico. And uh, this is what's going to be different this time. Look at the precipitable water values on Tuesday. They are almost at two inches, and that's very robust for this time of the year. Dew point should be up in the 60s. That is a very juicy air mass, and then... And everything blows in here later in the day and Tuesday night, we should see rain and strong storms. Could we see severe weather? Yes. But again, at this point, we just don't know. You can't really identify that uh, uh, you know, five days in advance with the specifics on this, but certainly the door is open for that. And then uh, Wednesday, really the storms are just slowly moving through here. This is Wednesday at midday, suggesting the rain will be ending from west to east during the day Wednesday. Let's check the European global model. Uh, this is Tuesday morning. It's a little faster. It's got the uh, storms coming in here earlier in the day Tuesday. But you can see clearly both global models are on board for a good rain storm event somewhere in that Tuesday, Tuesday night time frame with potential for strong storms, maybe severe, and heavy rain on top of that. 
Severe weather, we can leave that behind, but we'll sure take that rain. We'll check the end of the forecast period. This is Saturday, the 3rd of December, and again, a southwest flow aloft, a very deep trough to the west, and another batch of rain starting to move in here. So that active pattern is setting up, and again, the uh, European suggesting it continues into the rest of December. This is the 45-day rain, the ensemble mean, 50 members in the ensemble, you average them all out, you wind up with numbers like this. And this is not trying to predict specific weather. It just gives you an idea of the pattern. And it sure looks good to see us in the rain bullseye for a change. Numbers are up and down all over the board. We'll see uh, cool days and mild days, which is fairly typical. That's one reason this is the late fall severe weather season in the state. That's it for the weather extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Uh, the next video here tomorrow, we're on the holiday schedule, one per day. We go back to two a day uh, next week. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching, and happy Thanksgiving. Have a great day, and God bless.